a student race car driver, football highlights, silent films, and more. I'm Ben. And I'm Traden. Welcome, Welcome to Bulldog, Bulldog Bites. Bites. We start this week's episode by featuring Caleb Brunson, a senior at Lamar's, who races stock car. Mason Gangler had the interview. Uh, this is my second year. Uh, it would have to be my dad. He bought the car, he threw me in it, and then I just went from there. And he taught me everything for 14 years, and I do it by myself. A lot of respect. Um, I've got eight feature wins, actually nine. Uh, three my first year and six this year. Oh God. Um, too much. Like I've spent forty grand on my car this year and just bought a second one. And then the time is you either up till four thirty in the morning or you just have it done. I actually travel. Um, I go to Harlan, Iowa, Boone. Um, there's a lot. Park Jefferson in Sioux City, the new raceway park in Sioux City, and uh, Minnesota, South Dakota, just basically everywhere. Take your time, don't be scared. Just go on and have fun. That's a lot of money to invest, but Caleb is investing in his future. Good luck, Caleb. The Video Media One students are learning about focus statements, five to eight words that state their short film. Students were not allowed to speak. See if you can guess what the focus of these three short films. The focus will be revealed at the end of each film, so you can pause and talk over it first if you want.
bad for a beginning class, though I wasn't sure what was interrupting the picnic. Was it a bug or was it a shark? I'm just glad I wasn't there. Speaking of food, the FFA slash TNI programs, as well as the junior class, are doing fundraisers involving food. Let's see an ad for each. Fresh fruit in the winter is a great way to stay healthy. You can order them today through October 21st by contacting a Lamar's FFA member or TNI member. Nuts, cheese, butter braids, and a variety of fruit are available. The junior class is selling popcorn as a fundraiser for prom. They have nuts, fruity, chocolate drizzle, caramel corn, and butter. If you would like any, contact the number on the screen. Thank you to everyone who buys and supports their Bulldogs. I took the top four most popular Halloween candies, and we're going to see what LCHS students' favorites are. M&M's. Peanut butter cup, of course. Peanut butter cup. Peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cup. Snickers. Skittles. <laughs> Snickers. Snickers. M&M's. M&M's. Snickers. M&M's. Skittles. Skittles. All right, Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's peanut butter cup. Skittles. I like Skittles. Peanut butter cups. Snickers. Reese's. Peanut butter cups. Skittles. Skittles. Reese's peanut butter yes. cups. I like Snickers. And I like peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups. Snickers, obviously. Reese's peanut butter would have to be my favorite. Snickers. <laughs> Reese's peanut butter cups. Uh, my choice would be Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> Snickers. M&M's. Or Snickers. Snickers. I love Skittles. I love to taste the rainbow. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Don't forget the soup and pie supper this Friday before the football game. I can't wait to get some pumpkin pie. We finished this week with a look at highlights from last Friday's win over Denison. In other sports news, the volleyball teams cleaned up at Council Bluffs Thomas Jefferson with wins. Thursday, the cross-country teams competed in the Missouri River Conference meet at Brunsville. The Lamars girls varsity placed fourth, with Rebecca Holinsky leading the pack to place sixth overall. Lily McNaughton followed and placed twelfth. Both girls made all-conference team. The boys placed fifth overall. The top finishers for Lamars were Juan Sanchez placing 11th and Michael Meese placing 12th. They were also named to the all-conference team. Tune in next time. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.